In this cradle of civilizations where myth intertwines with reality, young Jacob beholds a stairway to the heavens, resplendent under a tapestry of stars. He slumbers, yet his spirit soars as angels traverse this divine link, foretelling a future blessed beyond measure. It is here, at sacred Bethel, that Jacob's odyssey commences, a quest forged in the flames of faith. Fleeing from a brother's wrath, our pilgrim discovers sanctuary by Haran's well. Amidst such serene reprieve emerges Rachel, radiant as the morning itself. In her gaze an unspoken promise blossoms, two destinies indefinitely entwined, a testament of love at first sight that time itself could not dissolve. In pursuit of a partnership woven with love's threads, Jacob enters into a covenant with Laban. Seven years toil for Rachel's hand. And so begins an epic testament to devotion. Each drop of sweat, each aching muscle, another verse in his ballad to his heart's true compass. When love's allegiance endures time's relentless march, seven years dissolve into mere moments. Yet in this awaited hour, deception strikes. A sister veiled in falsehood takes Rachel's place. In Laban's shadowy web, Jacob stands ensnared, confronting the somber price of his heart's journey. Amidst betrayal's harsh embrace, the flicker of true love refuses to wane. With valor unshaken, like an ageless monolith against raging seas, Jacob vows anew. Another seven years he pledges for Rachel's hand, an indomitable spirit ignited by love's pure flame. Bound to Leah and Rachel both by the ties of matrimony and covenant, Jacob finds himself at family life's nexus, where harmony and rivalry dance precariously. Sisterly bonds warp under love's duress and duty's unyielding weight, each sister striving for affection's balm and the prestige as the progenitor of a divinely honored lineage. In the sanctity of their tents, the air is laced with silent battles and unspoken words. Leah, whose womb springs forth life, is both blessed and burdened. Silent tears carve canyons of yearning in Rachel's heart, her emptiness echoing with the laughter of her sister's children. She reaches for an olive branch within her tempest, her maidservant Bilhah, a vessel for her love and longing. Jacob's bed becomes a battleground of legacies, as surrogate sons rise from Bilhah's embrace, further intertwining and tangling the family fates. The sun beats down upon the pasture as Laban's eyes glint with cunning greed. Jacob's unwavering diligence blesses the herds, yet Laban shifts the stakes, his promises dissolving like mirages in the desert heat. The deceiver becomes the deceived, with Laban's web growing ever more constrictive. Suspicions and resentments ferment like wine left too long in the searing sun. Yet, from the dirt beneath this deceit, a steadfast Jacob plants the seeds of future freedom. The shepherd transforms into a strategist, divining pastoral alchemy under a canvas of stars. As flocks congregate around watering holes, hazelwood rods, streaked and speckled, preside over their unions. The fruits of Jacob's ingenuity flourish as strong offspring populate his flock, a tangible defiance against Laban's exploitation. Emerging from beneath his father-in-law's shadow, Jacob weaves success from strands of genetic mastery. Amidst a pastoral symphony of bleating sheep and rustling grass, Rachel's voice rises, a blending note of joy. The barren period finds its end. God has hearkened to her pleas. In her arms lies Joseph, the embodiment of her prayers. Laughter cascades through the camp as relief washes over Jacob's weathered face. From Rachel's pain blooms a triumph, fortifying the family's unity. Freedom calls with the urgency of a ram's horn. They must return to ancestral lands. This revelation fuels their nocturnal exodus. Silhouettes against the moonlit dunes, carrying possessions and futures on their shoulders. The camp is an orchestrated whirlwind of quiet urgency, as they slip the chains of Laban's servitude, embarking toward Canaan on a path laid by faith and stars. 
Even the flight of eagles can be grounded by chains. Laban in anger trails the desert winds to reclaim what he perceives his own. On Mount Gilead, tempers clash like thunderclouds, but resolve into a treaty under the watchful gaze of God and men. Pillars and pledges set boundaries not just of land, but of peace. A covenant marks the end of Jacob's servitude. A testament to dignity regained, and autonomy won. With these sequences, our portrait of Jacob is a tapestry, rich with struggle and cunning, woven with threads, strong as the flocks he rears, and tender as newborn cries atop Mount Gilead. His love for Rachel is a beacon that outshines all tribulation, an echoing call within this ancient drama of family and faith. Returning to the land promised as his inheritance, the patriarch Jacob ventures into Canaan, crossing its threshold like a shepherd, guiding his flock through the gates of eternity. In this land of divine appointment, where the seeds of a great nation will take root, Jacob meets a celestial host. These messengers from the heavens affirm the sacred promise of his lineage, a reaffirmation of the covenant bestowed upon his ancestors. As the screen fills with images of the arid yet majestic landscapes of Canaan, dust rises beneath the feet of sheep and the weary travelers. We witness a man transformed by time and trials, leading his people with resolute determination. Jacob's gaze is firm yet brimming with humility as he acknowledges the magnitude of his journey's end. With Canaan's soil beneath his souls, Jacob contemplates the anticipation of confronting his past. Preparing offerings from the wealth of livestock he acquired, Jacob sends these gifts ahead, hoping to soften his brother Esau's heart. But as the two brothers approach one another, years of anger and betrayal fall away. It is an embrace that binds old wounds and heralds a future where brotherhood triumphs over animosity. The love once severed by deception now heals as two estranged souls unite under the olive branch of forgiveness. Yet even as Jacob's heart revels in reconciliation, unforeseen sorrow looms on his path. In birth's crucible, Rachel strains to bring forth new life, and amidst her travail, she breathes her last. Her spirit ascends like a whisper on the wind, leaving behind Benjamin, her final gift and testament to Jacob. In Rachel's memory, Jacob raises a monument, an enduring homage to an eternal love. The ache of her absence permeates through the very air as Jacob mourns. Love lost is love cherished forevermore. In despair's quiet afterglow, Jacob seeks solace in solitude. On Penuel's sacred ground, he confronts an enigmatic figure, a divine presence against which Jacob pits his strength and soul. With dawn's penumbra overshadowing the struggle, a revelation unfolds. No longer is he merely Jacob, but Israel, a prince who has contended with the divine and mankind, and has prevailed. This baptism of spirit and flesh marks the birthplace of a new legacy under God's unwavering gaze. In the embrace of this newfound identity, Israel reflects upon the odyssey etched into the fabric of his being. From erstwhile exile to patriarch, every hardship has sculpted him into an embodiment of resilience and faith. Each loved one, every rival, all have played their part in his metamorphosis into a leader chosen by providence. As twilight descends upon Israel's saga, his legacy unfolds like open scrolls across history's vast horizon. Twelve tribes arise, each a canopy under which future generations will seek their covenant with God, inspired by Jacob's celestial ladder dream. The tales entwine, love enduring through Rachel remembered, struggles surmounted by Israel triumphed, an epic testament to a man who embraced destiny's weave with a heart steadfast in love and spirit, bound to God. With these words and images echoing through time and minds, we conclude our journey through the remarkable life of Jacob, a shepherd, a husband, a father, who both wrestled and danced with the divine in the pursuit of his sacred legacy.
If you enjoyed this video and gained any value from it, please like this video, as it really helps spread awareness of this great story. It really helps the channel as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great stories of amazing people and majestic lands. Thanks for watching.